Yamaha XJ600S for sale on eBay. In paperwork, it has its V5 registration document, three former keepers. It's got an owner's manual. It's got an HPI chip, which I've done there, that shows the bike is all completely clear. It's got data tag there, which will give you about 10% off your insurance. It's got an MOT, which is quite short now. That runs out March the 13th, and it's March the 6th today, so there's a few days left on that. Um, you have got to sort out the rear brake on the bike to get it through at a minimum. Um, that's the only obvious thing I can see on it. But, um, um, there's the MOT history request there from uh, direct.gov that gives its complete MOT history going back many years. It also has got a load of old MOTs there going back to 19, no, 2005, so there's quite a lot of MOTs there. In fact, it goes back further than that, I can see. It goes back to 1999, so there's a whole load of MOTs. There's an old statutory off-road notice there. The last evidence of any servicing I can see on the bike was in 2011. Somebody cared about it because they fitted an oil and oil filter at a cost of £83.66. There's a photocopy of a spare key and there's a few old bits and pieces which don't really matter like old V-fires and that kind of thing. So anyway, just looking around the bike, a few little things to point out. The rear brake is not working. When you operate the rear brake, the it feels like it goes straight down to the bottom, so maybe there's no oil in it. Maybe this, um, the seals have got hard or something. In it. So, but anyway, you need to sort that out. Quite a simple job, I would have thought. Um, the front uh, foot pegs, when you ride the bike, the bike feels a little bit worn and the front foot pegs are kind of tipped forward a little bit. Just one of the things you notice when you get on the bike, sort of showing it's a little bit worn. Um, in the fairing, you can hear sort of harmonics when you're revving the engine, the sort of fairing is kind of vibrating here and there. Um, I think when these bikes come, they have a little sort of factory made bits of foam that's stuck in strategic places and I guess they've come out over the years. There are scuffs around the edges here and there and sort of on there. And the front brake doesn't feel as hot as you like it to do but it is only a single disc on the front and there's only a four pot caliper on there so they're not like a modern bike um, but it's okay it'll pass an MOT I should have thought. There's more scuffs on this side here. The engine itself sounds a bit worn. Um, it sounds like a cross between a bit of timing chain rattle and a bit of clutch basket rattle. I don't think it would let you down, um, but it just is just showing its age now. I think if it was my bike, I'd probably run it until it kind of got bad enough to do something about it. It runs smoothly enough on all four cylinders. It's just the tick over that's kind of a bit a bit rough sounding. Chain guard has been repaired at some point. It's got a piece of metal that's been sort of screwed to it. Um, the paintwork, when you look at this um, tail piece there, <coughs> excuse me, is a bit poor. I don't know whether somebody might have sprayed some aerosol on there or something in the past, or done it badly. I don't know, but anyway, it's not as shiny as the paint on the tank, at least. And the last one there is just a reminder to let you know I'm still buying used bikes. So if you're in the southeast and you've got something you want to sell, just let me know and I'll try and put a value on it for you. So there we go. Good luck with the bidding.